hi and welcome to today's press up um okay we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday um which is we had just told our website that we wanted a static page um on the front page of our site and we'd set that to be home so now rather than seeing a list of blog posts on our home page um we see this home page that we've created and a little bit of content and that can be really useful it's worth noting that some themes require this setting to be set to your latest posts for the, the theme homepage to work. So read your theme documentation to work out um, what your front page setting needs to be if it's not doing what you expect. Um, okay, with that in mind, we've set our posts page to be uh, the news page that we created. And what would normally happen is uh, this would create a page, or the, we've created the page, and setting this setting would state that the news page would display our blog posts. In order to demonstrate that, I'm going to go back to pages, and I'm going to go to all pages, and here's the news page that we created. And just to show you how this works, let's edit this. Let's say here is some content. Now, normally when this page displays, you would expect uh, this content we've put on this page to be displayed but because we have used the setting to say that the news page will display our latest posts so let's just go back and look at that we have said that the posts page where our posts are displayed will be the news page what that means is um, when we view that page so if I go to news and I click view it doesn't display the content that we put on that page. It replaces the content of that page with our list of posts. So that's possibly slightly confusing, but that's how that works. Um, now, the other thing that I want to look at today is called permalinks. And so currently, um, when we look at our news page, we get this URL up here in the address bar. It says question mark page ID equals 10. Wouldn't it be really nice if instead of that mess, it said something like, slash news but that comes back and says actually comes back with the home page bizarrely that shouldn't happen probably um, but um, yeah that certainly doesn't deliver us what we would expect we would expect to see the news page on slash news the fix for that let's just go home actually let's go back to the dashboard the fix for that is also in settings and skipping ahead a little bit it's in permalinks so currently we are set to use the default permalinks, which is where we get question mark p equals something on the end of our site name when we go and look at a page. That applies to both pages and to uh, posts as well. So uh, if I go and look at the hello world post over here, we get this question mark p equals one, and that's not massively helpful. Um, if we go and look at a category, um, so we can actually get a category archive up here. This is our, a list of posts in our uncategorized category. This has slash question mark cat equals one. It's all a bit messy. It's not very nice for users to see. Now, if we change this, what's this permalink setting to any of these other things, and you can choose how the URLs of your blog posts or your news items look, um, then that will rectify that and it will make, uh, it will use what's called pretty permalinks. Um, so they'll stop being crazy symbols and numbers and they'll start being nice names. So let's set it to month and name, which is quite a common structure. There, you can customize the structure if you know what you're doing and you can do these category and tag bases if you really know what you're doing. Um, but we're just gonna change this from the default to month and name. And then we're gonna click save changes. And when we go back to our homepage now, uh, let's go and click on the post. Um, and what you'll see is it's now, rather than question mark P equals one, it's got slash 2015 slash 03 slash hello world, which is a little bit nicer. And also you'll find that if we change this to say slash news, that we actually do have a news page. Oh, no, that didn't work. That's interesting. Let me just go and find out. Let's just go and view our news page. Oh, that is our news page. Sorry, it's our the news page is our index of blog posts. So that's exactly what I was expecting to see. So that has worked perfectly. On slash news now, we display our list of posts and that's perfect and exactly what we'd expect. So uh, more settings and permalinks. Go for your life.